Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI Gathering Storm, playing as Molly. Got four cities down pretty early in the game. We're only at turn 58. It's, I feel it's pretty good. Um, I actually don't usually have cities down quite this this fast a lot of times. Um, but yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm having fun with the setup. Um, we got a good plan for some uh, some Sagubas and Holy Sites right here. This is going to be a really good setup here. Um, we got a couple more cities over here on the coast. I think they're going to be okay. Lots of mountain tiles nearby for us to get some good adjacency for campuses and things. I think it's going to be good. I think I think we're in a good spot. I want to get another city out over here, though. In fact, I'll go ahead and drop a pin probably right here on the coast is my, my target. Because we want to get advanced. We want to get a coastal city. Just might as well get a free point from that. Barbarians approach. Okay, hello. You're coming up after me. Which is fine with me, because I'll just take you guys out. Um, increase trade-out capacity, so we're up to uh, two trade-out. Okay, yeah, okay. You are going to drop that. It's going to get us some horses per turn. Does Arc Thing need horses, actually? I actually don't remember. Mm, let's see here. It's not going to tell us right there. Let's see here. And... Some of them do. Some of the unique units do. Some of them don't. This one... Oh, it needs iron. Really? I mean, I guess it is replacing for the night, so... Fair enough. Did we get any iron? We discovered iron, but I actually didn't. Oh, there's some way over here. We're going to need to push a little bit towards... Um... Oh, there's some right next to our city down here. One, two, three. That's one tile too far, though. Got some tundra down here already. So it's the bottom of the map. And if they're in t near Tundra as well, then I was going to say they're going to be near, near the top of the map. So not a lot of space here. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to push up a little bit further this way. We've got to get the iron for our unique unit. Well, let's check. Settler. Um, somewhere over here, probably we may have to settle on this forest tile. It is Plains Hill, so that's a bonus. Just outside the loyalty range. Um, yeah. I'm thinking that's, that's about as good as we're going to get. We could sell on like the weed or something like that if we wanted to, but I think this is going to be okay. Let's see here. I want to put a pin down there. In fact, we may need to settle this city first. Um, city two. Just because it's, it's unlikely that Indonesia is going to come down here and take this city before India takes something over here. So I think that is going to be the plan. We're making 21 gold per turn. That's awesome. Some from the marketplace, some from the palace. Good stuff. Uh, how about you go ahead and kill that guy off? Why not? You're right there. Get you a promotion. I like it. And we've got a lot of little science bits and bobs. We've got Mercury and we got these little, um, I want to say these fissures and things. Geothermal fissures. All right, you are healed up. So, oh, there's a goodie cut right there. A little bit of diplomatic favor. I'll take it. You have a promotion. So let's go fast movement on hills because there's a lot of hills around here. Uh, doesn't really matter which one you take. So we'll go ahead and grab it with you. Three error score there. How are we looking? Thirty. You know, we got gotta get fifteen more. We're gonna we're gonna get quite a few more from the districts and stuff. So I think I think we're gonna be okay. It, is it likely that there's another encampment down here somewhere? It, there probably is, but I can't imagine they're going to push up that far. Still, I'm going to go ahead and move you down a little bit. Oh, hello, scout. Let's we'll see what we can find. We could also start some aggression against somebody if we wanted to. I don't know. I don't know if that's what we want to do right now, but it is an option. You want two horses? Oh, no. I'm not going to give you all my diplomatic favor. Sorry, buddy. Nope, sorry buddy, we don't we don't want open waters that badly. Nope, we're not gonna give you horses and all of our diplomatic favor for for anything, to be perfectly honest. There's the wheel, gets us the um the uh, water mill. Um let's go and pick up sailing. It's just gonna be two two turns, it's gonna be a quick and easy pickup. Go ahead and back you off, get you healed back up again. You go ahead and start Poking over here, see what we got. Oh, hello, Scout. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you know what? We can make friends with you. 
I'll send you a delegation first. That'll work. Alrighty, three turns on the Granary, three turns on the Saguba, six turns on the Builder, six turns on the Saguba. Doing all right. We're making some decent gold. We still need to get we get another need to get another trade route out so we can make even more gold. That will come. Hmm, there's a little more space over here than I expected. I could put something on the tundra, I suppose, but it's not the most ideal. But it's still a lot of mountains over here. We are getting some Hinduism from Indonesia, which is okay. I mean, I'm not all the individuals. Okay, so all the the um, Religions are gone, which is fine, you know, because we're more about generating faith. And it, sure, getting religion would help us generate some faith, but I'm just just really care about the faith. I mean, the religion is a nice extra, not a, a mandatory, I think, for what we're trying to do. Um, go ahead and heal up where you're at for a tick at least. But what this does mean is as soon as we get our um, holy sites down, we'll be able to get maybe whatever building Indonesia has, which, what has she got? She's got Hinduism, uh, religion, Hinduism. Eh, some food. I mean, why not? We're going to give us even more you know, tall cities or reasons to have tall cities. So we'll be getting food and faith from our city center and food and faith from our uh, our uh, buildings if we take her government. Or her uh, religion, I should say. Sorry. Um, we're not building any of this stuff right this second. Unit maintenance is nice, but not critical right now. Nope, I think we're okay for the moment. And you're about to die. See if you can get out of dodge. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up horseback riding, just because we have all that. Um, we're kind of run slim on getting any of these boosts, unfortunately. Civics tree. We do already have this boost, but we've got to get political philosophy as soon as possible. Governor title. I still kind of want to keep pushing up her, to be honest. Double adjacency bonus from commercial hubs. That is actually really nice. For each unimproved feature tiles, for, for, sorry, for each unimproved feature, tiles adjacent to unimproved features receive plus one appeal in this city. It's not that bad. I think the Harbor Master is still going to be slightly better for us. But forestry management is still a pretty good one. But we want to get down here, probably take Harbor Master, Tax Collector, and then Contractor. Just be able to pick those up quickly, and then we can go from there. Getting another governor out as soon as you know soon is also still a really good idea, but I think I'm okay with uh, taking advantage of her thing as soon as possible. Some more iron over here. Need more housing, of course. Drought. Where's the drought? Oh, way up there. Dedication bonus triggered. Perfect. All the more points. Um, yeah, so we need to get... The water mill doesn't really... I mean, it helps us. Don't get me wrong. Plus, I mean, that would make that one seven food, which is insane. But we need to get the traders out as soon as possible, I think. So I think that is the... Uh, man, the library would be good, too. Let's get the... Uh, let's get the trader out for now. More gold, more better. That's that's our thing, after all. Okay, we can go ahead and grab this with faith. There's our boost towards guilds. And we can go and grab our first holy site adjacency. Which, oh wow, look at those holy site yields. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's because I forgot which one. Was this the Pantheon we got? Oh, yes. Yes, I forgot we took that Pantheon. Wow, those are some good holy sites. All right, so whose goes where? I guess yours is going to go over here, actually, because this guy will go there and then yours will go there. So that's fine. Wow, those are some good holy site yields. Yeah, this is this is this is shaping up pretty awesome. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm liking this. Okay, so you just go ahead and go and alert. You're trying to. Okay, there's the archer. Should be able to take a shot against you, which is unfortunate, but I think we'll be okay in the long run. Okay. Um, trade route. Got our first holy site. Builder. Another Saguba. More points. So we need 14 more points. We got plenty of turns to get them. Especially if we can get the city over here for sure. And I'm not sure that this city will get us any points, but that city will definitely. 
If we get a city in the tundra, that would get us points. Oh, you actually just moved up towards my scout. You didn't take a shot at me. So we will do that. And we'll do that. Done. Thank you, sir. We can actually get up to three trade routes now. We need to get our other scout from being injured all the time so we can find some more city states. Okay. You need to go ahead and drop out your scuba as well. And it's the last of the trifecta. You're going to get a bonus for this holy site. Well, a temporary kind of... You're actually not getting a direct bonus from this right away, but you will get one as soon as this thing is finished. Yep, so... You're going here. Let me get rid of you. Cool. All right, builder. Could go ahead and hook this up. Probably the right idea. Yeah. Um, there's got to be an encampment down here somewhere, right? In theory? Maybe not. Oh, you might have cleared it out. So we're good down here. Uh, I don't know if there's anything over here. Oh, there's actually a... I don't know if I've discovered this yet. So we will get you. Um, that does not give me credit for it. Okay, we'll have to go around that way somehow. I'll have to get open borders, but obviously I see something there. Or is it just a volcano? Mount Baron. Is it just a volcano? Do volcanoes get their own names? I can't remember. I think they do. Yeah, okay, so that's not a... That's not a I thought that was a natural wonder. The name was throwing me off. Cool. All right. Uh, next turn. Alrighty, what am I going to do here? We're going to go ahead. We cannot purchase this yet, which is fine. Um, Grant, you're not going to need the housing right away. The trader would be good. Water mill. I mean, again, we're not trying to do too much production necessarily. A builder would be really good here. Help improve some of these things, get us some more gold. Somebody's got to get the trader. Probably going to be Niani, because Niani's not going to be pop 7 yet. So she's not going to be able... I say she. They're not going to be able to get the uh, Holy Site yet. So why don't we have you... Actually, you know what? Why don't we have you do it? Hmm. Buy a monument. Buy the trader. You buy anything. Like I said, we still have to do some manual production here. Especially here at the beginning. So... I'm going to produce the monument. Get, get a little bit of more... I mean, a little bit more culture is always good, but also getting a little bit more border growth, I think, is going to be fine. All right, so we know we're, we're clear down here. I'm going to come up here and explore that and probably move you back to the city. A lot of fish down here. I mean, it could be a decent site for a, a city down here somewhere. All right, uh, how about you just rest up, and then we'll probably put you on auto. Auto move. Actually, Yanni might want to get a... Um, a, uh, another settler out, to be honest. Maipo River, which is not too far from us. I'm just going to have you heal it to full, just because. I'll probably have you go back to the city. Um, you're going to go ahead and hook that up. A little bit of gold from that. Perfect. All right, so far so good. Getting some horses in. Again, we don't need the horses for our first unit, but... You know, we can, get, we can go ahead and make a unit that can promote into our other unit, I suppose. So that's an always always an idea. Welcome rainfall up there in the, the drought area. All right. I mean, the Oracle is not half bad, to be honest. But I don't really like where it's wanting me to put it. I mean, I guess back here wouldn't be that bad. We want to go trader? Do we want to go settler? Settler puts us even further away from the seven pop is the problem. So I'm thinking not settler. I'm thinking definitely trader. We'll be uh, eight turns away from growth. Once we get to the growth, once we can pop it down, I think we could finish it even if we go black below seven, right? I, I think that's how that works. So let's go ahead and do the trader first, and then we'll go from there. Um, You... 
I don't know what I need you to do. Maybe put a mine over here or something. Swing, sneak down here or something, maybe. Hmm. I mean, we're getting a decent... I mean, we're already up to four pops, so we're getting a decent amount of food. This city down here is probably going to have the most trouble with food, just because it's not going to have the deserts at all adjacent. You know, let's just come hook that up for now. All right, trader. I think we still want to go through Niani. So I'm going to send you to Segu to probably come this way. Has this thing updated at all? Okay, it is looking better. Yep, Segu to Chennai is going to get us eight gold. Timbuktu to Bad Tibera, which is way over there, would get us nine gold. But I think this was fine. Let's go do Segu. I think that one's going to be okay. Because I don't know if it's taking into account the gold that we get from Arena. Okay. Um, you're going to go ahead and go back to the city. We're almost at the point where we can boost that. We only found... Oh, we had found a city-state, but apparently it is gone now. We may never find the three city-states, so we may have to finish that one off the good old-fashioned hard way. Which is fine, I guess. You want horses? You want to give me some favor, some gold? You know what? We're going to get more horses. Um, I'm okay with this. We're not using them right this second. No hour of life is wasted. Although, there we go. There's there's horsemen, but uh, I'm okay with that trade, though. Still going to get us some favor and stuff, which I think is good for us. Okay. What do we want to do here? We don't have any more boosts. We can already start working on this, but I think that would be a little crazy. We can maybe get this one at least part way. Do we have a quarry thing nearby? Um, I don't think we do. Uh, if we get the city over here, that we can, can get some stone. What about the city down here? No. Is this a quarry? I can't remember. I actually can't remember. I don't think Mercury is a quarry. Mercury is a mine. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe over there. I definitely do want to get some more settlers out soon-ish. All right, you're going to go ahead and come back up to Niani. I think we've we've done enough uh, moving out here and checking things out. Um, you were going to go towards Chennai. Because that'll pass through Niani still. We're up to 54 gold. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Which does mean we want to start buying things that we can. I mean, like, that's that's our thing. Buy what we can. Um, I'm thinking Niani. As soon as we get to the 7 pop and we want to buy a settler, probably. Alternative, we could just buy it out of Segu. Let's finish the Seguba and see where we stand. We're already at 4 pops, so we should be able to get the Holy Site down as well right away. Uh, I don't know if I... I don't think so. I mean, it's probably a fair trade, but you specifically want it, so I don't know that I want to give you what you want, to be honest, because you must want it for a reason. We'll, we'll go ahead and stay friends with everybody that we can for now. All right, Warrior. Um, you're going to go ahead and just alert. That's going to be okay. Sure, we'll take up borders. I'm sure it's fine. All right, you're going to go ahead and hook that up. We'll allow us to trade it if we want to. Uh, overall, though, our amenities are okay for the moment. Oh, really? One, two, three, four. Technically, this city site is still available. We would have to buy it and buy up to the river to make sure we had a place for our Saguba. So as much as I was going to do this one first, and I still really need to because I'm sure India is about to spread over there. I need to get this one over here as well. Let's see, we're 680 would be the next one. Oh, because we don't have the 20% discount yet. Uh, I think it's 540 is actually the next one. So two more, two more turns and we can buy a settler to send over here. 
Um, what we're going to do then is move you over there to keep an eye on things. Why is that not moving? There we go. Uh, in fact, this archer right here is also going to move just right there to keep an eye on that spot. And we'll go from there. Because if we see another a settler coming over here, we may have to do something. I mean, not that we can do something against our friend, I guess, but <laughs> it'll at least let me know. I can slowly watch it approach and run everything. Um, we are four turns away from being able to get our holy site. So we just need to do something for four turns. I think I mean, heavy chariots could be useful because eventually we'll be able to upgrade them. Let's just grab a monument, put a few turns into a monument. I think that's going to be okay. You. Can you, we cannot buy the market yet. We've still got a, quite a ways to go. Once we get these holy sites down, that will make a huge difference on the, the market. Um, kind of getting those markets up as soon as we need to. All right, so you need to go right here. Five, uh, faith. Okay, you're gonna go, I guess, exploring. Probably run into another, I was gonna say, run into another barbarian encampment and probably get yourself killed. Um, can we go from Gao to Batirbara, maybe? I'm guessing, I'm hoping. Available routes. That's six gold. Timbuk two looks like it's got nine gold over here. Gao. Gao cannot go over there that far. It's too far away, it looks like. Not Gao to Chennai. But it looks like the best one we can do is Timbuktu to Bad Tirba. To Bad Tibera. Which is fine. We'll do that one, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think sticking mines and all these things would be good. I mean, we we'll probably want to stick a holy site, like I say, right here. Maybe a science district right next to it. So I think at least this one being a mine is, is definitely fine. Droughts over there. How are we looking on? I got 12 points to go. And if we can get the city over here, if we can get a city down here, that would also give us, oh, no, India. And you got the iron. The only way we're gonna get iron is to come down here and try and grab this one then. It's not a bad plan. It's just not <laughs> the intentional plan. It's not the plan we wanted. They are really, really forward setting. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles away. I mean, this one at least makes sense because it is right here. This one is eight tiles away. All right. Masonry is where we need it to be. We'll go and swap off of it for now. And we need one more turn to get our settler out of Segu. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, We'll have to figure out how to get some cities. I mean, we can definitely put a city down here for iron as well, I guess. That would also get us our Tundra city. It's not amazing. It's not a great city, but it's got some mountains nearby. It's got some silver. It's got some iron. Deer can help a little bit. We got some fish down here. Lots of coasts. You know, could work. It could work. Not a, not a river nearby, though. It's the biggest problem. Oh, no, right here. Right here. So if we settle right off the river, we could still put a Saguba there. Possibly even a holy site and maybe a harbor. Something of that nature. Or maybe the other way around. Uh, holy site here because of the mountains. We'll think about it. That might be a one, two, three, four. Actually, that might be a really good spot. I mean, not an amazing city by any by any means. But a good a good enough city, possibly. Um, plus, it would give us some points for being in the tundra. So, all right. Again, we'll put a cut in there. I do appreciate you watching. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.